and welcome to Fresh Ideas from Whole Foods Market. How is everyone doing today? Awesome. Hi, Hi Cambridge. <laughs> Hi, Cambridge. All right, so we're really excited today. We have a special guest, uh, Lee Kane, who is our mis mission and culture coach in the North Atlantic region. Dina, of course, Cherenson. She's our marketing specialist for Cambridge and Somerville. Hi, Dina. Hello. And then me, of course. Matt Keller, hey, I hey. am your marketing team leader for Cambridge and Somerville as well. Hi. So, thank you so much, first of all, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Yeah, this is, I'm you don't know this, but this is a big deal. Right. It is so. a big deal. <laughs> so, Lee, tell us, tell us more about yourself. Tell us what you do, like how you got into Whole Foods Market, what you do now, the evolution of your career, everything. Everything. Don't leave anything out. And we have 27 <laughs> minutes. Yes. Um, Hi everybody, I am a lifer. I'm one of those people we call a lifer at Whole Foods Market. So I've been with the company now 22 years, hard to believe. I um, started out um, in store operations. So I ran a couple of, actually three of our stores or helped to run for the first eight years. And then I segued into um, work that we're gonna talk more about tonight that's uh, more aligned with what we call our mission and our purpose. And um, that's what I've been focusing on for the past 15 years now, uh, very happily. And I'm um, happy to talk about it tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it sounds like a great job. Can you tell too. us a little bit more sure. of like what that means? So it's, 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 um, it's a combination of a trainer and a coach and a cheerleader and, um, you know, sort of a public face, I think, on a lot of the things yeah. that we do. So, um, you know, we're a mission-driven company. We call ourselves a mission-driven company. Again, we'll uh, talk a little bit more about what that means, but it basically means, are we into the content now or not yet? Just as much more, just general. general. Yeah, I mean, just general. Yeah, just general. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, as, a, pretty soon. as a company, we <laughs> have certain things that sort of uh, coalesce what we stand for and uh, kind of propel the business in a lot of different ways. Uh, they motivate us and they keep us focused on the things that we want to keep as our priorities. And um, I think, you know, they work really well because the largest percentage of us team members at Whole Foods Market really buy into them. Their right. values that That's we share true. and their things that we all commonly hold is important and so uh, they, they just work. So that's all the, so Lee's in charge of all that other stuff about Whole Foods Market that really are like the good things on top of being a grocery right. store. You know, like those things that kind of make us who we are and make our mission what it is and you know. And I get to, I mean, another sort of additional benefit to that for me especially has been that I get to work with people who are in what we call operations. They run the stores. Uh, I get to work with the product teams. Um, sort of pulling that all together for the various parts of our, uh, of our company, including the people who work behind the scenes. We have people who work in facilities who, mm -hmm. you know, are not in our stores and most people don't even know they're there, but they really serve an important function. Uh, you Absolutely. know, they, they help the food get to the stores and the kind of right. excellent shape that it gets there. So it's really a lot of moving things. parts. A lot of moving parts. Yeah. Well, it sounds like quite a job. Well, let's go, let's go over everything. Let's do that. Let's go over getting to know Whole Foods Market. So tonight, so here we are. Um, we're starting out talking a little bit about uh, what what I mean by having good bones, and that's a term that I learned when my wife and I were uh, just about to build our house, and okay. we had a limited budget, and we talked with our builder about you know how can we really make this something that's going to last us for the long haul, and uh, he basically coached us about how you build a house with good bones, which means you don't spend a lot of money on frivolous things. You really focus on the essentials, the things that are going to sustain you over the long haul. So that's what we did, and it's a term that's always stuck in my head, especially working with Whole Foods Market, because I think we really do have good bones, and we'll talk about exactly. what the components of that are. A really good foundation. Mm -hmm. So we call ourselves a mission-driven company, um, and uh, we have a set of core values. We'll talk a little bit more about those in just a second. Um, we have quality standards. We have a motto that uh, binds us together. We have a declaration of interdependence. We have a purpose statement. All of those components together are things that mm -hmm. we we really uh, refer to when we're talking about you know our business and are we staying on track are we fulfilling our mission are we doing the things that we're here to do and we think we do pretty well and who we really are exactly you know, as a culture and as a company exactly cool um, so our higher purpose is something that 
has been revised a lot of times. And I think that's an important thing to talk about because none of these things that are part of our, our um, good bones are things that are locked in cement. Uh, they're not carved in stone. They're, they're living documents and they're things that evolve mm -hmm. over time. So as we learn more about our business and our customers' interests and the things that really drive us, mm -hmm. uh, we make alterations. But the purpose statement, I think, is really important because that, that just really talks about at the very basic level, what are, what are we here to do? What mm -hmm. is our company here to do? We believe our purpose is to nourish people on the planet. It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, simple and, from, and powerful. Yeah. Simple and powerful. Yeah. And from the very beginning, when our CEO uh, um, formed this company, John Mackey uh, formed Whole Foods Market, his mission was to get the healthiest feed food to the most number of people he possibly could. So that's really it. Our purpose is to nourish people on the planet. So uh, our core values are a set of values that we, we refer to constantly. We really um, share these together. And again, these have evolved over time. So when I first joined the company, mm. there were five core values. Mm. Over the next couple of decades, we added uh, three additional ones mm -hmm. at various okay. times. Now we just recently paired back to six. So the core values have, in essence, haven't really changed, but the way we express them and the way we kind of list them uh, have evolved over time. But these are our current core values. We sell the highest quality natural and organic foods. That's usually at number one because that's really what we consider, you know, one of our most right. important core values. That's what we do. Right. 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 We satisfy and delight our customers. That that drives that's our business. You. Our customers. <laughs> well, and Thank us. you very much. Yes. You, you are customers. We're, yes. We're customers. Um, and, you know, we, we really want to take it over the top when it comes to our customers being happy, mm -hmm. right. satisfied and delighted. Team member growth and happiness is really critical to us because without yes. our team members, we don't have a business, basically. So our team members are a, just an essential element and we do everything we can to keep our team members happy and engaged and constantly learning and growing. We just came out of our team member appreciation week, which is a whole week that we dedicate mm -hmm. to. It's to a lot of fun. It's a it lot of oh, yeah. a lot of goodies. <laughs> probably and heard some of the activities on the loudspeaker, you know. You might have. I would imagine. So and I'm like saying, attention team members, go back for the for the live dunk and the balloon toss. And, 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 like, and the barbecues and, 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 and the food. Enjoy the delicious food. food. That's right. And there's always the delicious food. Yep. But it's also, and you know, again, just to throw it out there, the appreciation piece of that is so important for us that right. we want to stop our normal business and, and take the time to appreciate our people for the tremendous work that they do and just great people. Uh, our supplier partners are very important to us. Mm -hmm. That's one of the core values. And interestingly enough, we didn't have that when I first joined the company. It was okay. implied, but it wasn't stated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we thought about who our major stakeholders and most important stakeholders were, our suppliers mm -hmm. were critical. They've been there with us since the beginning. So we yeah. formalized that as a win-win partnership because we really believe that in order to be successful, everybody has to win in the equation so our suppliers have to sense. come out feeling like they're winners you know right. we're not we're not doing That's business true. on their backs we're doing it in partnership with them um we're a business we have to be profitable and we have to mm -hmm. uh, use our resources widely wisely so we create profits and prosperity that's mm -hmm. our core value and that really speaks to you know being stewards of our of our financial resources and, and being careful with those and then finally but not least uh, important we care about our communities and the environment so um, you know we, we dedicate a lot of resources a lot of time and attention and care to our uh, local and global communities and also we try the best we possibly can to be as uh, responsible uh, environmentally and ecologically as we can. Great. Well, let's talk about Whole Foods. Let's just do that. <laughs> so we have a motto, Whole Foods, Whole People, Whole Planet. Okay. Um, again, that's very simple, but you know, you can break that out into a whole bunch of different things. So again, our, our purpose is to feed and nourish people on the planet. We do that by trying to get whole foods out to as many people as we possibly can. The healthiest, most sustainable, you know, just uh, uh, the best possible food, including delicious. Right. Uh, you know, yes. we really want the food to be delicious, but we want it to be as healthy as it possibly can. And we want to really 
pay attention to the, the um, processes and the, the ways that the food is uh, sourced, grown, mm -hmm. uh, that it comes to our stores. So what you see there is a sort of array of um, symbols that stand for practices that we really care about and programs that we really care about that are all around the food. Um, you know, our, our Global Animal Partnership, which we'll look more at in just a second. Uh, you know, Organic, which we're famous for and we'll continue to really uh, focus on. Our uh, Seafood Sustainability Standards and on and on and on. Right. You know, and just, local. And local. local. Thank you, Matt. Big. Uh, very important. But all those little signs, I mean, definitely make it they all mean something. easier for you to really not have to do that research where we're doing the research for you and you're yes. able to like kind of pick out those products right. and know that that's what's behind them. You know? and, and we really hope that our uh, our customers and our team members will get to know those symbols and what what, what stands behind them. So right. if people are curious about it, you know, just ask it and, and uh, people will explain to you in the stores, this is what that means and this is what that stands for. Mm. Um, but if you don't want to do that and you just want to come in and grab your groceries <laughs> and leave, exactly. know that there's something very and important. And you can still feel good about it. Exactly. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so that's that piece. Our food is different. Um, we, you know, we strive to have it be Again, the highest quality, the mm -hmm. best tasting food it possibly can be. We have quality standards that are very clearly articulated uh, there at the top. No artificial flavors, colors, preservatives or sweeteners, no hydrogenated fats, no high fructose corn syrup in any of the food we sell. Our uh, meat, again, comes from animals that are never given added hormones, no antibiotics ever. And uh, the animal welfare piece is a really important point. We'll look again at that in just a second. Same for our seafood, it's responsibly farmed. If it comes from a farm, it's sustainable. If it comes from seafood, we have third party entities that validate those claims. So that's not just coming from Whole Foods mm -hmm. Market, that's uh, third, you know, it's uh, third party right. validated. Um, organic, non-GMO, special diet foods, we're, we're pretty famous for all those things. And then again, responsibly grown and local, uh, very important to us. Um, so the Global Animal Partnership, um, there's a really interesting story behind this one, um, and I'll make it as brief as I possibly can, but a lot of our story has to do with our founder and CEO, John Mackey, and sort of his evolution over the years and things that he's learned and the way he's brought that to the company. So um, John, uh, as all of us did in Whole Foods Market, used to say we have the best animal products, we have the best uh, standards for animal products possible. Um, along the way, we were taken to task uh, by various groups, PETA being one of those and others who mm -hmm. basically said, hey, you know, they're good, they're not the best they could be. Uh, when it comes to your animal humane standards, there's room for improvement, there's a lot of room. John pushed back on that because he felt pretty proud of what we did already right. and he felt like, you know, we're, mm -hmm. we're really out there as a company. and and what we do, but there was a kind of a back and forth on and off uh, dialogue over a period of time. And what John did, which I love that he does, is he finally came back and, he, and you know, he was given new information and, you know, mm -hmm. saw some things that he hadn't seen before. And he came back and he said, you know, we really are not doing what we need to be doing. Uh, we need to raise the bar and really elevate our standards. And so we started this process of what at the time was our Animal uh, Compassion Foundation, which evolved into the uh, Global Animal Partnership and slid off as, a th as an independent third party organization uh, to certify our humane standards. So, so, that's uh, right. so you know, we can back it up. And you can always like look at those steps when you're at the meat department at the store. Exactly. That's right. So, like when you're in the moment, you right. know, deciding whether the lamb chops or the lamb, you know. Or the lamb leg, right? You you can be like, oh look, and those steps are right there, right? right. So okay. right. and and that's a great point, Matt, because we really do encourage people to get to know what those steps represent, and you can, as a customer, as a consumer, you can make your choices. Right. You have the you know the same like, with seafood, right? With yeah. same with seafood, so. A similar story, although uh, not so much directly involved with uh, John in this case, but again, looking at the fact that, you know, we, we've always been very proud of the quality of the seafood that we sell and, you know, feel like it's the freshest possible. Uh, I work in one of our facilities, which is our uh, Pigeon Cove uh, seafood processing facility up in Gloucester, and I've seen the boats come up to the dock and the fish comes off the boat, gets processed, and it's in our stores by the next day. It's just it's awesome. really remarkable. Yeah. The seafood sustainability standards takes a lot more than just freshness and flavor into account. It takes how those fish are are captured, you know, mm -hmm. how they're harvested, what the conditions are, the marine conditions, 
what kind of impact the, the way that the uh, seafood is caught has on the environment, um, you know, the sustainability of that particular fishery and whether it's right. there for the long so haul. lots of layers. There's a whole yeah. bunch of layers. So again, you know, a customer can come in and say, I don't care about any of that. I just want a piece of salmon and that's fine. Just right. buy the salmon and, just look at that. and know that it's coming from the, the safest, healthiest, most yeah. sustainable uh, fishery that I can. Yeah. And, and it's delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> and then let's talk about produce. Let's talk about whole trade. Let's talk about produce. So produce is, uh, you know, that's our showcase when you walk into our stores and you get hit in the face by just the beauty of what, what vegetables and fruit can look like. And we really pride ourselves on that. I started out in produce with Whole Foods 22 years ago, and that just was so transformative to me to come in and see the care that went into taking care of our, our produce and you know how rigorous we were about our standards. We have a lot of components of our program that happen in the uh, produce department, so Whole Trade is one of those. Um, you know, local is one of those, and uh, our responsibly grown standards are all part of our produce um, standards. Whole Trade is one that I just really am so proud of and so proud that we're a part of because it's not just, again, the, the freshness and the flavor and the quality of the product, but it's the impact that it has in the countries where that uh, produce is coming from, uh, or flowers, or chocolate, or coffee, all of those are under our Whole Trade. We have a little right. video about Let's it. Let's take Let's a watch. It. It's exciting. Hey. This is where it's always fun. There we go. I dream of a future in which consumers, in which you and I, know that every time we go shopping, we have a choice. We can choose between business as usual or a better world. I dream of a future in which consumers, in which you and I, so it'd be nice, just a little sound bite, you know, of what yes. we're doing. What if I had nothing else to tell people about our whole trade uh, guarantee? Mm -hmm. Because it's all important: the environmental uh, impact, the you know, the the fair uh, wages for the farm workers who raise the products, uh, you mm -hmm. know, all of those things. There's a premium uh, that gets paid to the people who raise the product that goes directly to them to use in their communities mm -hmm. for whatever their priorities are. So uh, a small piece of uh, the price of the uh, goods that you're buying in produce for whole trade products is going to help people build schools, dental clinics, mm -hmm. optometric clinics, uh, freshwater cisterns and wells in their community on and on awesome. and on. So it's up to them. They decide how to use that money and it makes a huge impact. So it's really taking that extra step between like fair trade and then we're on exactly. a whole trade, like exactly. really and helping the communities and, and yeah. taking that extra step going on and, further. And you can tell that there's so much information behind all of these different programs. I want to say to everybody that please go to WholeFoodsMarket.com and there's even a lot more. There is. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And for anybody who wants to, I mean, there's signs and posters in our stores, but there's very little time to read those, but they're yes. there and they do tell the stories. They well. do? Yep. But we'll get into the people at the stores. So our people, uh, you know, uh, we include everybody as people, but we want to focus particularly on our own whole people, our team members. Uh, you know, again, uh, we really believe that in order for us to do the best business we possibly can, we have to take really great care of our team members and make sure that they're getting as much as they possibly can out of working for us. So John Mackey, again, what you're saying here is his personal statement. He wants every single team member who works at Whole Foods Market to feel like they can fulfill a piece of their higher purpose in life, whatever that happens to be, through their work. So it's not like you leave your values at home when you come in the door at work. It's like you fulfill your values while mm -hmm. you're working. So that's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, a paycheck is great, and we all know that, and that's why right. a lot. Of, that's why we work. But but if you can feel like you're also contributing, you're really making a difference when you come to to work and changing the planet. That's what we're looking for. So that's a, a big piece of our whole. Well, people spend a lot of their their lives working. Exactly. That's true. So, exactly. You know, it's important that you're... More than they do with their know, families a lot of times. So yeah, right, exactly. Right. So, so it's important that. that you're fulfilling something. Exactly. Like actual work, I understand that. So, you know, we give, we give our team members lots of opportunities to get involved in our various initiatives. Mm -hmm. They can get involved in what we call our green mission, which is our recycling and waste diversion, or they can get involved in, mm -hmm. you know, some of our uh, foundation work, which we'll talk about in a minute, or just volunteer in their communities in various right. ways. Love volunteering. 
Mm. Um, we were talking about this just a little bit again, you know, what, what we're really looking for is um, to make sure that our team members feel like they're getting the most they possibly can out of out of their work with Whole Foods Market. So uh, just kind of repeating. Looks like they're all having fun there. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. It really is. You know, <laughs> they are actually. In I fact, look at those I took those pictures. When I, was, I know you they did. Were, they were having fun. A lot of those are very recent. When I was, first, I was a customer <laughs> for a long time at Whole Foods before I joined the company, and part of what really attracted me to being a, a, a team member of the company was it looked like fun. It really yeah. did. It looked like uh, just a lot of a lot of fun. So let's hear our team members talk about, from their point of view, what's the best thing about working at a right. Foods Market. I am ready. The best part about working for Whole Foods Market is... The best thing about working for Whole Foods Market is... So I think the best thing about working for a Whole Foods Market is... Either the products that I get to work with or the people that I get to help. It's probably the ability to... Uh, like come as yourself. The people are awesome, the products are top notch, and the guests are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. <laughs> the best part about working for Whole Foods Market is you get to work with a company that makes a difference. All the happy people I get to help. The food, the people, and the culture. Three things. They empower you to just um, do what you can be the best at. Just having a lot of opportunity to do fun things with fun people uh, and make a career out of it. The best thing about working at Whole Foods Market is the growth opportunities. I get to meet the local vendors that come in and all their food and their hard work. I'd say autonomy. Um, you know, freedom of expression. You can be yourself. You're not just other employees, the people, right? We have a lot of fun here. It's a great place to work. It's about helping people. It's, uh, that's the best part to me. The best part about working at Whole Foods Market is the people. It's just a really great environment to work in all the time, every day. It's a new adventure every day. So I'm very proud to work for Whole Foods Market. And there you have it. I like that this hat. And they're all professional actors, too. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like that big, like, orange cowboy hat. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Every team member right. gets one of those when they get voted on. Your team. You See? can choose to wear it or not wear it. There you go. So if you're looking for opportunities, they're right there. So the third component of our motto at Whole Foods, Whole People, is our whole planet. And uh, again, you know, we kind of boil this down from the team member's point of view into our green mission. Uh, that's the thing that's most accessible to most to every team member, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we uh, do a lot of things under that banner, which I know Karen talked about in a recent mm -hmm. show. So we have our yes. we have our waste diversion efforts, including a zero waste day, which we just had very recently. We achieved that here that in, the, in New England. We, we zero waste. That's we tough. did get to zero waste. Mm -hmm. We have um, you know we have uh, we build our stores to be environmentally, uh, you know, as as sustainable as possible, the least possible impact, and you know our, our packaging and our transportation and everything we do, we just really try to pay attention to. In addition to our of course organic and uh, non-GMO and standards right. like that. All great stuff. And so then Whole Foods, let's talk Hope, about Whole Planet. Our foundations. So our foundations um, are listed there. We have three foundations starting with the uh, longest term, Whole Planet Foundation, which started in 2005, and then Whole Kids Foundation in 2012, and uh, Whole Cities Foundation in 2014. Whole Planet Foundation really is about uh, eliminating poverty around the world. Yes. Our Whole Foods Market uh, does business. Whole Kids is about making sure that kids have healthy nutrition through school gardens, through salad bars at schools, and through educating teachers about healthy, mm -hmm. uh, cool. healthy nutrition. And then the Whole Cities Foundation, our newest one, is really focused on uh, food justice, food access, and healthy food for everybody, healthy, nutritious food for everybody. From my point of view, the foundations crystallize everything about Whole Foods Market. It's like right. if you want to know about yes. what our values are and what we stand for in the world and our purpose, just look to the foundations and the tremendous impact that they have, uh, you know, locally and globally. Right. And it's almost like a more tangible idea. It is. So like really gain an understanding of, of what we're doing. And it's really an opportunity for, again, all of our stakeholders to participate in. Mm -hmm. It's not just the uh, Whole Foods Market team members, so our customers can donate to the foundations mm -hmm. and often, right. all, you know, always do. 
um, through the fundraisers that we have in the stores or buying uh, products through our um, yeah. supplier partners who are sponsoring, you know, right. who give a little money back, give every, a little time money back every time you buy one of the products that scans yes. through the register a percentage goes to yeah. one yeah. of the foundations. So, um, and then team members through payroll donations can make contributions or they can actually go and work for the whole planet foundation. Dana, you, uh, you know this cause you did it, uh, can go over to, mm -hmm. uh, other countries and spend two, three weeks working and doing community service and, and seeing what our supplier partners do. And, and just, having fun. And having, and having fun. fun. And the highlight of my life. <laughs> and it's volunteer work. They're very committed team members yes. who, who carved that time out to do it's that. Cool. So it's great. It is well, a lot fun. helping like this community too. Like we got we got a school garden for City Sprouts, like to name one of the many right. that we have thing. in Cambridge and Somerville and That's in Boston right. and right. in the outlying area, like lots and lots of you can school actually, gardens and grants. You can go to whole kids dot uh, whole kids foundation dot dot org and, and uh, see the map. That's and right. you can see there's so many in our in our communities. Mm -hmm. it's, it's awesome. Nice. And same thing with whole cities. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, with Groundwork Summer, we've talked about that a bit on yes. the show. But. Yep, we have a new grant program, which actually just, uh, the, the applications just started yesterday for the next yes. round of the whole um, whole city's exciting. grant program. It is. Team members, once a year. Team members can <laughs> right. recommend, uh, they can uh, apply for a grant on behalf of their organization, and uh, as long as it's doing that kind of work out in the community, you know, food justice, food access, healthy nutrition, for places that really need it, and... We well, want like it really pairs like there's a partnership between the team member and yes. the community organization right. which is like you know just again taking it that one step further to really like put our team members in line with the community it's cool yeah that's cool yeah if you can't tell we're excited because that's, we are. it's very exciting it's exciting work it's exciting to feel like you're really making a contribution to your local and global community and your fellow team members and our, our customers and yeah no, you know, and just being a customer you're helping out too you know exactly. like That's helping right. out with all these missions but if you want to see more again like Gina says go online you can check it all out go on the store you can read about it come on and get on our chat <laughs> <laughs> thank you Cambridge thank you oh we never said it's our last show